And we're back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion 100%. I'm Cade161, and this is Luigi's Mansion. Um, I checked back my notes, and I was right. It's both chandeliers, and then the left and the center nightstands that have money in them. The right one only gives you hearts. So now then, moving on. This is the next room, um, parlor room, and we need meet yeah, another new ghost here. That's not new. Ah, dang it. That is one of my biggest pet peeves about this game. You can't change the way, you can't change the uh, view from going, from looking this way to another week. You can only ch turn around Luigi. So when a ghost is in front of you like that, it's really disorienting as to where he is exactly. This is the new ghost I'm talking about. The, the, the banana peelers, they... They, they 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 do not, they don't attack you directly. They simply they simply drop an ass for you to slip on and are very annoying. Um, this is what I get. How can they eat? How can the manas they drop actually hurt us? How can they even eat? Ghosts don't eat. I don't know. A lot of stuff about this game is confusing me. Um, they're not too difficult. They don't attack you directly. They just drop bananas, but they have a lot of health. Oh. Come on. Get in the back, damn vacuum. Now, after you be have to clear every other most of the ghosts from this room, there's actually still one left. It's in this wardrobe. This wardrobe right here. But we're not gonna do him yet because I want to show you something else. Um, if you've ever played Luigi's Mansion, you might you probably know about the blue ghosts. Um, the money ghosts. They when you when you suck them in, you get money from places and stuff. There's one in this wardrobe right here. Um, but I'm gonna have to get it off screen because, like I said, it's really difficult to do this correctly in a recording. So, um, uh, yeah, so you just have to take my word for it. If you've, if you've never seen one, I'll show you one later on, but for right now, it's too much of a hassle. Oh, and one more thing, you can only get blue ghosts when the room's dark. So, if you, there are two times you can get it. When the first time you enter a room, and during the blackout later on. And, and I'll explain that later, but first off, let's continue on, shall we? Um, for, for non-100% let's, let's plays, I, my preferred way of catching a blue ghost is just to knock it, immediately flash him, and then suck him in. But when since you're doing a hundred since you're doing a hundred percent, the money gets really easily caught in places around here. So you, so if I'd open this door, the ghost would have come out, and then I would have had to suck him up. I, if I had sucked him up here, probably would have gotten lost be behind this stuff. The preferred way I heard of is to is to stand with your back like this to the wall. Yeah. One second, you change it to sidestep. So like the so like the, I have to send it. What the heck? That's not sidestep. Okay. Something's wrong with my controller. Um, the usual way is to set, turn it to sidestep, get corner them, and then instantly turn around and, and flashlight them. But apparently, I can't do that right now. Strange. Right, whatever. I'm out here. We find another toad on the balcony. Same as always. Just talk to him, cheer him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty simple. Now, the key to the next area is this way. Is this one? There is a key. There is a chest in here, but it does not appear until far later in the game. You come back here for what for whatever reason. I, that's it's one of the weirdest parts of this game. Whatever. Um. Anyway, you, so you just went all this way to get to that one key, so you can head back now. And as you begin to get, get to the door, you you get tech calls, calls you. Don't forget, he says he says a stronger ghost in here than we fought before. It's portrait ghost. Um, portrait ghosts are kind of like mini bosses. They are. Ghosts that you can't just flash your light at them and they'll disappear. Um, they're stronger. Almost all of them have 100 HP. There are only two exceptions. The last two bosses. Um, they all have different ways to get them. Some of them are easy. Some of them are harder. It just depends. And this, and this is the office introduction of the hallway. Um, during areas, throughout areas of this game, there will be hallways. Areas that have ghosts in them, but even if you suck them up, they will not. They won't do it. They won't do anything. Um, the coins are, are, are misnomer. This, this is a fake door. It will hurt you and it will cost you coins and stuff. The only door open right now is this one. Study. And here we find Neville. 
Uh, and his flying book. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, and then the wardrobe room. The only money there is in the big wardrobe in the center. I forgot that for a second. Sorry about that, folks. Um, okay, then. Uh, moving on. Like I said, the only the only weapon he ever has is the book. Is the, is the book. There's a blue ghost. I believe it was a blue ghost in... There is a blue ghost in the ch uh, in his chair right here, and there's also one other type of money, type of money ghost. Use, this is the only this is my this is one of the only things that Game Boy Hole is good for. See that piece of cheese? If you look at it, like this a ghost a little golden mouse right there. Now if you suck up that golden mouse, you get a lot of money. Um, there are a bunch lots of golden mice in, in this game. There are two kinds, um, random and cheese. You, well, we won't see a random one until later, but so that's the only one right now. Um, but first off, let's say we catch Neville, shall we? He's the easiest ghost by far. Just stand with your back to him. Or one of the easiest. Flash, and he'll eventually on and just suck him up. With Portrait Ghost, every 10 HP you, you suck up, they will they will drop a pearl. Um, the more the longer you hold him in, the more the bigger the pearl come, that comes out. Be careful, they will also suck. They will also drop up. They also drop uh, poisonous mushrooms. They shrink you. They hurt you, and they make and they make you so you can't use your vacuum. Uh, uh, you get four. So in total, you get nine pearls. Four. And the idea is to get the and the way normal portrait ghosts are ranked, either bronze, silver, or gold is what type of pearl you get. Um. Okay then. So open the key chest. You get the next key. The next area. Um, there's some money in some of these books right here, and there's some money in the ceiling light. That's all there is right here. Oh, and if you want to, um, uh, if you if you want to read up, there's some interesting stuff in here. Anyway, moving on. I think we can do. Think, think we can do one more before we have to cut out. Or maybe not. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. Come on, you. All right then. Put the key in. Turn it. And move on. Okay, this is the this is the next room. That's Linda, the mother. So she's she she was not as she's not as easy as a husband, but she's still pretty easy, still pretty simple. She's a daming boodle. She doesn't like wind in her hair. So let's give us up. Open the window with the put it as three thousand and flash it on. If you don't get it on the first try, it's no big deal. Just just wait. Just repeat the process. She'll do the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, she's she's a bit harder than Neville, but not but not by m much. Wait, where's the pearl? Where's the pearl? There it is. Oof! I did not want to have to do that again. Okay, then here's the next key. And we get and it's to it's to the next room. Um, okay then, there's money in the war there's money in the in the in the two in the two dresses. Wait, dresses. Uh, okay, uh there's money in the dresser. There is money there's money in these in the two dresses, this one and the big one. There's money in the ceiling fan. The way you do it is you you hold it until it gets the full speed and then the money will release. Pretty simple. Um that's all for right now, I guess. That's all for this room. And now we hear a disturbing whine. That is the whine of a baby, folks. A very disturbed baby. Hmm. Whatever. I hate kids. That's not completely true. So that's Chauncey in the ghost in there. He's the baby. Um. This, these coins are here a clue to how to lure them out, but that's not for later. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it in this but in this one. Yes, yes. So is so this is the final ghost of this area. Um, it's a boss. There's money in the chandelier. That's it. There's a big heart in this chest. If you if you're low on HP, and I don't feel like doing the boss fight this time. Time besides, you need to get all the money. So uh. Uh, next, uh, I will I will go back and get all the money from all the areas, and next and next time wait and next time you will see me, I will have a bunch of money and we will beat the boss. So uh, see you next time on Let's Play Luigi's Mansion 100%. This is K Head 161. Uh, goodbye.